divine place for my kingdom. What is that? Oh. Kingdom's Lawn game is an outdoor game, so we're filming in a little bit di different of an atmosphere. But you're going to have um, an area of your lawn out there, and you are going to be having different kingdoms, which are represented by these blocks. Then you will also have some armies that are represented by these balls. You're going to first throw out all of your kingdoms, then you're going to start using the armies to try to knock down your competitors' kingdoms. So Will and I are going to play a game. We've already set everything out, so let's just show you how the game works. So all of the kingdoms and balls start off on the battle line. Um, you're supposed to throw everything from the battle line, and you must use an underhanded throw. So we're going to have Will start off here. Will is part of the Yellow Kingdom. So he's going to go ahead and they're going to throw one of his kingdoms first. And since we don't have four players total, we're going to go ahead and throw out the purple block because nobody was playing that one. Now, one thing I can show you real quick here is that if you look, right on the battle line is where this purple block landed. If any block goes outside of the battle line, it is actually out of the game and is disqualified and you don't get to use that kingdom. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to throw out the rest of the blocks. We're well, going to go ahead and throw out a green block and then I'm going to be playing the red kingdom. So now, once all of the kingdoms have been put out, you go ahead and stand up all of the kingdoms and you have the little symbol facing the throwing field. So now we're going to take turns throwing our armies to try to knock down our opponent's castles. Now, since we're playing in a two-player game, we have some opportunities to gain some ghost armies. If we happen to knock down any of the other colors, which in this case are the purple or the green um, castles, we will actually earn an army for the entire game to be able to use. So Will's going to go ahead and throw his first army. And now I'm going to throw mine. That means I get a green ghost army to use for the rest of the game. Red, that's one of mine. Yes. 
So you will continue just like that. Every castle that has been knocked down stays down and everybody goes ahead and collects all of their armies. Then you go ahead, you have another round until uh, your, all of your opponent's kingdoms have been knocked down and then you are the winner. If for some reason that no kingdoms were knocked down in a round, you go ahead and move the battle line up a couple of feet just to make it, apparently it's a little, maybe it's a little bit too hard. You can also play with some special abilities if you wanted to. Um, so looking at the instructions, let me tell you what the abilities are. So for the yellow player who is known as Monarch, um, if we're playing with special abilities, their ability is resilience or resistance, excuse me, and they can't have any uh, kingdoms knocked down in the first round. Um, Saber, which is the green army, uh, they can throw castles or balls using any throwing motion, but it still must be a controlled throw. Rune, they can throw any uh, out of bounds castles. If so, if they throw something out of bounds, they can try to rethrow that. And Rune is purple. And then Ember, who is red, of course, and they can throw castles and armies one step past the battle line. So they have a little bit of an edge there. That's just this set. There are actually three other sets that have some slightly different abilities as well. But we're going to go ahead and finish our game. I didn't gain anything. Nope. You did not. Punchboard Media, where we all bring something to the table. Pull up a chair at punchboardmedia.com. That is Kingdom's Lawn Game, which he won. The dark side. So, I have a lot of fun with this game since I've had it. I have played it now five times, and um, so far, I think we're tied for wins. Yes, I won the sixth. I won this one, and you won the first one. And then I played his brother when he wasn't home. Uh, best two out of three, and I won that one. So overall, I have the championship victory. For now, but. 
this is really, really cool. Um, it's akin to lawn bowling, which I have never played. Um, maybe a little bit like croquet, yeah, like you've that. said. But this is a lot of fun. If you like lawn games, such as croquet, lawn bowling, or um, what's the one I always forget? With the bean bags. Cornhole. Cornhole. That's it. Cornhole. Um, this is another nice alternative, though it takes up a little bit more space, but you can make the kingdoms as big or as small as you want to. Um, if you want to, you can even add in obstacles, which is really cool, which is something that uh, we had done before. Um, when I was playing with his brother, we put some obstacles out. So you can put cones or tires or, or whatever you want. Or if you have a tree in the middle of your yard, you can have the tree as part of the obstacles, which is uh, actually pretty cool. And you don't have to have a perfectly flat um, area here. It's kind of sloped and has like dips and weird stuff. Um, at our place, it just isn't on a pretty pretty cool little incline. So it does give it a little added challenge. And again, you can make the, the kingdoms any shape or size that you want to. Um, and if you have more than one set, you can play a massive, massive game. But if this looks like something that you'd be interested, I'm going to have a link down below for the uh, Kickstarter and up, up where you can find the game. And as always, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and help support Cloak and Maple. On the next screen, you'll find links for uh, my Patreon. You can also click on my logo to subscribe. And thanks for watching.